Ciao ragazzi, buona domenica, buona 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 domenica, come state? Tutto bene? I'm happy. So, today we're gonna make risotto uh, with asparagi. Yes, this is what we're gonna make today. Risotto with asparagi. And uh, so excited, ciao. So, so this technique for do risotto, you can make, oh, I forgot to do something. Ciao ragazzi, ciao, buona domenica. So today, I don't know where you are from, guys. Actually, if you want to uh, put your uh, flag where you from, you know, let's see where everybody, Colombia, Tennessee, so we have neighbors, ciao, 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 North Carolina, buona domenica a tutti ragazzi, buona domenica, happy Sunday, Germany, USA, eh, ciao bello, ciao, America, so, uh, Ungheria, giusto, Canada, uh, Oregon, Buona domenica, ciao. So I will try to say, oh, this flag, I don't know if it's Pakistan, Pakistan, nice. So Lituania, uh, Puerto Rico. Eh, ciao ragazzi, ciao. So in America today we change our, I don't know if you change, no, in Italy, no, they don't change our. I don't know if Canada, they change our to today. So we push an hour of Mexico. I don't know if it's, or America day today, or just United States. I assume Canada. If I saw that somebody here is from Canada, if uh, yes, in most Canada too. So not all Canada, you change the hour. Oh, it's weird. We have somebody from Mexico. If Mexico told us if they change the hour, Texas, Colorado. So today we change the hour. So we push an hour for it. So right now here, in Tennessee, it is 11.25, but in theory, it's 10.25. And we're cooking anyway. We know I are that angry, but I don't know. I want to try to go back to the new hour. So today, I guess today, uh, today is a beautiful sun upside. Today, I'm going to go walk, but um, we finally, we're going to have the day longer and longer with light so I can spend more time in the garden and stuff so like i was uh costa rica yeah so like i was say uh today we're gonna make risotto with asparagi okay uh, how we make the risotto you can make risotto with anything like like we're doing today you you can do salsiccia radicchio sausage um uh, radicchio the red cabbage radicchio in america you call radicchio you can do anything the same way it's not different ways ragu risotto ragu sometimes i prefer the risotto ragu uh i always need to um i do you remember the last live that we did the ragu so we make the ragu and then I save some, but today I want to do asparagi. Tonight we eat pizza, so I want to um, eat something like that. Bergamo, ma dal Veneto, e si chiama Alessio. Bene. Allora, nel frattempo che parliamo, do you have any question about anything? Uh, it's 9.25 in Pakistan right now, in a p.m. Oh, so it's time to go uh, almost sleep in a couple hours, huh? Um, if you have any question in the meantime, okay, I prepare the onion, I prepare cutting the vegetables. What do you think? Sei stato a Bassano del Grappa? Yes, when I was in military. In the meantime, I take uh, a yellow, I do. Sometimes I, I use the red onion, but it's perfect, the yellow onion for for make risotto i make risotto for two people i don't put a lot of onion okay but onion is my favorite allora 
yeah, you can use even white asparagus, asparagus. Uh, you can use whatever you, you want. In Europe, I, I tell you this, in Europe, I was eating just white asparagus. I, I honest. Uh, in US, um, you find in the can in the US, the white asparagus. Uh, but it's, uh, remember one thing about the asparagus. So if it's organic or not organic, Let's say it's organic, okay? If it's organic in the United States, no means nothing, okay? Means that they spray anyway, but organic stuff, okay? But in asparagus, the um, what they spray, whatever, they don't stay uh, attached to the asparagus. But yes, in the bottom, okay? So it is always nice. Yeah, you clean your asparagus, but it's always nice. You do anyway, but just in case get people don't do it, cut a nice part to the end, okay? So that is a good uh, thing. Let me actually, I'm gonna use, you can use the quantity that you want. If you wanna more, if you wanna, yes, less. So asparagus is good to eat. But then when you go to the bathroom, you go to pee, <laughs> they give you that, uh, you know. So in the meantime, let me put some oil in the pan. Here I make um, broth, okay? A vegetable broth is here. It is, uh, if you want to do from scratch, you put just uh, celery, carrots, and uh, an onion, an old onion, whatever you have. You put it there and you need to leave for an hour at least to boiling a small. It's already prepared, mine. And now I, uh, in this pan, I'm going to put some olive oil. I think, oh, I almost finished the olive oil. Let me see if uh, we made it. I don't think we, we made it. No. It's gone. I need, I don't prepare, I guess. I need to take one olive oil. I'm a Olive de oliva. Just, you know, we warm up and then we cut our onion because we're gonna now put the onion and um, yeah, our asparagus. Let's see what you have here. So I see a lot of people from Texas. Now we never, do you know how many oil I have here? I wanna show you. So all this. All that. We use um, olive oil pretty much. Sometimes we, uh, I have some olive oil because I buy it. And then I give some time one to the neighbor, one here, one there. I give some to Jesse mom, to, um, to the parents in general, some friends here and there for, or la, uh, a week ago, uh, somebody in uh, in Publix, uh, a guy that uh, he liked her videos and they say, oh, I like, so he's sometimes making a joke. He was so nice. So I said, I go back home, I take our I, I give our oil just for tell, hey, um, take it just for, because you're a nice person, try something Italian. And uh, yeah, like, I keep olive oil like that too. Then let's see. What kind the olive oil do I use? I use Entimio. So this is the brand, okay? Entimio, Entimio. And uh, let me see if I, Entimio. Intimio. Yeah. 
And um, usually about the Italiano or, or about uh, Italiano, usually I use it for cooking. And uh, this is Cortese. Okay, usually Cortese in the website, you see Cortese is made for uh, salad, it's uh, soft. But then I like Distinto. I like really Distinto. And in my opinion, every dish that I do, the oil make step up better the dish. It's nothing to, to do. Orzo pasta is from the orzo, like orzo, it is the, the grain, okay? So um, usually they're doing the pastina. Uh, let me see. No, it is another kind of, it's really nice. Usually it's, uh, you can make it in the um, uh, minestrone. I will try to say how you say minestrone in english it is uh, minestrone it is the soup but uh let's say minestrone we use a lot of the orzo okay then I don't know uh, how you use orzo, ragazzi. Do you use in the minestrone or do you use, example, I like orzo. Um, I use, but I don't use that much. I don't know why, yeah, I like it. Uh, sometimes you can make uh, even some, um, um, now I'm not coming up the dishes, but I really like it. My daughter got an olive oil tattoo after her exchange trip to Italy. <laughs> really? Okay, some people use uh, any soup, they use orzo, yes, because it's the best, in my opinion. Then, okay, if you do pasta e fagioli, but some people call it soup. Oh, wait, we always um, forgot to. Are you going to put the onion, man? Eh? Let me see. Then, in the meantime, let me clean fast the asparagi. What plans do you have today, guys? In the and then we cut the bottom, like we said. This is the piece, the bottom. So, pretty much, this was the bottom. What you doing today? It is Sunday. Today, uh, I watched a little bit of soccer. I watch now the game one. I'm gonna watch the other game later, and then I go walk. And for the asparagus, now we're gonna start cut in a. Yes, in Italy is barely, barely, barely. Yes. It's correct. In Italy, it's barely because I remember can we was try to translate us in the, my house because I said, oh, I need to go buy some orzo. Oh, what is orzo in English? And I said, oh, I don't know that word. And then my mom said, should be barely, but, uh, and then Jesse was say, yeah, it's just barely, we found it. So um, cold orzo salad. Uh, it is a really good. Ciao, ciao da, Ciao Raffaella da Los Angeles. Quindi ci sono italiani anche qui in America tanti a Los Angeles. Italians usually they go Los Angeles. Oh, let me cut in the meantime. Uh, I just show you. I just cut in pieces like this. Okay. I was need to maybe keep the points a little bit longer, but it's okay. So it's, I would say Italians go all Los Angeles or New York because that is what they show as the movie. Right now I'm gonna put the, the asparagus.
I just leave it there one second. And after this, let me prepare the rice. Allora, il risotto you're doing with riso al borio. Okay? That is what you're going to do with this. The brand, we have just this here. Uh, it is another brand, I like it, but always sold out. Always, always, always. I don't know why everybody take it. Uh, it's very expensive too. It's $10 per bag. Uh, I mean, it's fine this too. Uh, it is gluten-free, no GMO. I mean, but the other one, I was like it, the other brand. So don't, di don't use different rice, not the normal rice. Eh? If not, you're not going to get the result. So now I'm going to see how many grams. I'm going to do 200 grams. Let's see what is going to be in English. Uh, 206 grams in the 7.3 ounces for two people. 100 grams, I think it is the right thing. So right now, what I need to do, and then we can talk more because this is a specific um, moment. I need to toast my rice. Where it means toast the rice. I put in the pan. Yeah, I leave one minute there to take the heat. Let me move it. Um, you have to toast the rice. Uh, so what happened when you toast it, if I'm not wrong, because I'm not a chef, but I think that you make uh, then absorb the, um, all the flavors in the rice. So in this moment, you could put white wine to give uh, just a, a splash. You need to wait to get all the wine evaporates out. Again, I don't bad yet. This white wine is the uh, I don't go to the grocery. I do even without it. Come anyway. It's not okay if you're missing the, the wine, it's coming everything. But it is all about flavors when you eat it. It's all about it's missing the wine, yes, okay. But it's all flavors. So right now, finish toasted. I start pouring a little bit of broth in the in the in the pan. The broth is warm. I can let it go like this. We're doing easy. I right now put a little bit of salt. Then, uh, because I don't put salt, no salt in uh, before, but you could put salt here, then pour it there. I put salt, a little bit more. So, and then. It's hot, but it's not boiling yet. So I'm going to show you. So I put um, like this. So I put water a little bit, a little bit. And now it start uh, boiling a little bit. So uh, I put a little bit, a little bit like up like this. So now it is two schools for do this risotto. Who put all the, the, um, uh, the broth? A and they go away and go to the couch, they come back, and then they're waiting, they come back and they find the burn, everything. Or the other school test you need, they go stay here and move it sometimes. And then you 
every time the the broth uh, absorb it because it's absorbing the rice of course and then some evaporate you keep adding adding the broth so right now they say 20 minutes is is kind of boiling i put the timing so we know and um and now we prepare to amantecare il risotto because this is done okay your job is done is barely cut onion, some asparagus, some broth, whatever, and put it in. Now you need to just wait, and then you amantecare, so you make your cream, risotto cream, to the end. And you're gonna do in two in two ways, and you can, but I use just one. You're doing parmigiano and butter, okay? So you put a small piece of butter, and then you put parmigiano, you remove uh, the pan from the fire. You put it by side, you put the butter, you put the parmigiano, ta 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 ta, a cama cream, and your risotto is done. I don't put butter, I'm gonna put a little bit uh, fat. So I'm gonna put just parmigiano. It's coming anyway. I think it's good anyway. Of course, with the butter, step up a little bit the risotto. And. Um, that's it. Then. So what all you use here is a super, uh, so in California, no? Qui è carissimo, so it's really expensive. So this olive oil costs uh, $35. Uh, you buy it online from Intimio. And uh, you can even uh, do forty-five dollars. Olive oil in uh, of, is uh, yes, it's, it is true. It is um, uh, it's really expensive. It's nothing to do. The, uh, but I suggest you, um, Raffaella, to don't buy the other olive oils cheaper, like the nine dollars that you can find even the Partana. Don't do that because they. They are not really, really good for you. Um, I know, especially for us Italians, can we use olive oil for everything? Uh, I I know your pain. I know your pain. For three, four years, I was using a cheap, cheap olive oil because that is what I can. And then uh, and now I use the olive oil. This one I using a little bit, little bit, and then I buy it. I prefer buy it like this and book sometimes, getting other things. Well, it's expensive in Italy, but in Italy I think uh, sometimes with seven or seven dollars you got it. You know, seven or ten. And I remember then depend the areas because I don't know. Probably Milan, you're gonna pay the olive oil. Who knows? But my area. It is not that much. Um, oh, okay. Use the cheaper olive oil to cook and the a good olive oil to finish. No. Because what you eat, if you put bad, is if you put the bad, you're eating the bad anyway. So... I understand because usually you use, I was thinking the same too long time ago. I was buying a cheap, a good to finish, but you're going to cook it with that bad olive oil. Okay. And then usually the bad olive oil, uh, they don't have a good uh, heat um, resistance. Okay. So it is making more bad. So, so I start to, so what I, what I, my new strategy, it is, I bought the, the good olive oil, but the lighter, like, example, I use the Cortese olive oil, you know, it is, uh, sometimes it's a little bit cheaper, but in this, but it's made it for the salad, you know, for cook it. So it is less flavor. Uh, but then I put the flavor on top, the olive oil, because if you are not, or 
I use the Italiano, que de esa, um, the metal, and then it's good oil. Um, try it, try it. At least, uh, you know, olive oil, like we were talking about last time, even if it's bad olive oil, when you open, you have one month to finish it. One month. Especially here in the United States, they have dead holes, big holes. Where you buy the, maybe a casco, oil oil, other thing. They have a big hole, so more oxygen go inside. So you should use it more fast than oil oil. So, yes, it's cheaper, but you need to use it faster. So in the long run, it is you're going to spend the same money. In, instead, to use an oil oil that is with the closing thing so oxygen not go inside so you actually can use this oil a little bit longer than one month <clears throat> so and i mean this is half liter and i use for everything it definitely it keep me one month I, I take, I, I, what i do in usually i use this for cooking i open another one over there same family, but it's Pugliese from Puglia, a little bit more better. And I use it for putting the thing. So, oh, wait, I need a adding. I adding this. So, it's, I add a little bit of water in this um, broth. It's still broth there, so I am it's gonna be a little bit more lighter. I think I know that enough. Because usually, or maybe yes, I did enough. I don't know. You need to stay there so you're adding, adding in the right time. If I stay here, evaporate too fast. The best oil is so it's hard to say what is the best oil, but like I said in the past. Olive oil, olive oil. So don't confuse avocado, olive oil, the other thing, because now it is all marketing, okay? Because now they try to uh, marketing, marketing, marketing. Olive oil from olives is what you need to have, okay? Then I tell you this because uh, when I did all my researches for olive oil, we I talking uh, I talk with a uh, really expert in olive oil, so we was talking about together. Okay, actually, I always try to want to bring him him to the channel and maybe make a video talking about olive oil, you know. And is olive oil then is entimio, you know, it is from entimio. Uh, is winning the awards, but. How he winning all the time the oil? Oil. So a lot of people. Okay, I told this in the past, you know, because if now it looks like uh, a lot of people, what they doing? So they are doing like this. So the uh, companies, it is. Oh, it is a competition. What are they doing? They are making olive oil for the competition. Okay, so it's not what they selling in the stores. They are making olive oil. For the competition for winning the competition okay he making the olive oil this guy and for the competition say just take olive oil from because he's selling from amazon he's selling from just pick up one olive oil from where i'm selling and that is the the competition okay it's two different approach so he winning you know their worth with Every olive oil can have. So you, if you take this and you go and make a test, it's coming better than what is in the description to the, his website. If you take example, I don't want to make names, but it is a lot of names, uh, even from Sicily, whatever, olive oils. And see, not uh, and what they say, they're sending the olive oil, even from California, I just say it is a, a mix. They, they send the olive oil specific, not that they're selling different house. So you don't get the olive oil, they're winning the prize. But with him, you're winning. He's not doing a business for making 
passion because it's a retirement. It's just a passion that audible. So, so it is two different approach. So when I met him and whatever, and then I told in the past, hey, we did a lot. Uh, we talking with him. Okay, was people try to ask him questions, but he never did. They said I'll give a discount because it was uh, for the people. You know, <laughs> he said, okay, we give you a discount to the to the website, and and, and we was using the I gonna write it was Pazini tens Pazini's ten. If it's no work, do Pazini. 10 one of this discount okay so pazini colasse without s 10 one which and he give it just one time so use both codes if you want all in the, his website not in amazon whatever but you can buy whatever you want you can go buy in amazon whatever it doesn't matter it is if you want 10 percent off and it try it they try a lot of people did and a lot of people change the life i got just with him like the oil wall with him because um because we have this honesty thing because i told him in the past well i take your oil wall, i'm gonna test it eh? <laughs> don't tell me uh but he make laugh and then we're talking about it so oh it's probably in the line My internet is not working, guys. Can you hear me? I don't understand because my internet here, they said I'm 100. Yeah. I prefer Spanish olive oil. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. It's not because it's Italian good olive oil. You can have Greece, Spanish, Italian. It is like we we did we're talking about a uh, different life it is how you make the olive oil how you make it because you can find spanish you can find a good olive oil, but i don't know yet the uh, spanish brands and because i should talk with a spanish people but um oh in the meantime i forgot okay we have a little bit of minutes um but the problem with the olive oil about the um, which one is the best it is depending how they make it if you go to the factories and you see that they make the oil oil with um and they smash the olives it is the oxygen go there is totally wrong could be nice tasting could be nice that you know but it's wrong for you the oil oil is not romantic how they make it, it need to be uh in the um, pressure places where it's not oxygen inside and because the oxygen make the oxidante, the oxidant, the oil oil. So when you eat it, it's bad for you. That's why you need to always have oil oil. And then that's why you need the storage in the dark and other things, temperature, because if annoying plastic, because if not the oil oil eating the plastic, and then what you do in eating plastic. So it is a lot of things to, to decide which one is the good oil oil or not then i need to do one thing fast good who coming here we're talking about olive oil do you want to know other, do you want to tell other people what is the good olive oil so we're talking about uh, because the the oxidant you know i was talking about the antioxidant anti okay yeah but if you put oxygen inside the, then it oxidizes oxidize. it and then it's bad for you it is bad for you that's why you never want to keep olive oil for long for a long period of time i know a lot of people especially when they buy expensive olive oil they want to just use a little bit little bit and they keep it in like a cabinet or something it's not good and then also you need to think about how your olive oil is stored that's why glass with a really good like closed top is better than one of those plastic ones with the big open mouth of the bottle and then how it's shipped too. So a lot of times you don't know if it's been shipped and sitting in a storage unit somewhere for a really long time. You know, you got to think about those things. Yeah. Otherwise, all the good properties that olive oil has will go away. So 
it, like people can, like I said, you can buy uh, Intimio in the uh, Amazon and other things, but I prefer buy to the website. But, mm -hmm. but not that the Amazon warehouses is bad because I saw the warehouses, they have air conditioner. And before, not all the states, they have a good warehouses. Right. So it depends where they come from, what uh, state come from. Sure. Texas, maybe it's too hot. So, but if it's Wisconsin, maybe it's cold. So the storage, it is better. Could be. Could be. You need to think about that too. That Yeah, I buy it from the website and that's it. So any question? By the way, I, I start um, grating the, the Parmigiano. Okay, yeah. What, oh, yeah, you're making risotto. Risotto. So. Why don't you grate it on a plate so it's easier and then dump it into this bowl? He's trying to grate in this little bowl, but... The, look at this. See, mom. Like, what are you supposed to do with this? Yes, because <laughs> I, I usually do in the plate, but. Oh, right. that's not any better either. Yes. Trust what else me. have you guys been talking about? Oh, nothing. Like we was just talking about orzo. They're talking about uh, orzo too. What is the difference between orzo and uh, pasta? So oh, barely. Okay, wait. No, you're, they're thinking something else, probably. Yes, uh, uh, because in America, what is uh, pasta? Because you know when you get orzo in the grocery store, the bag that says orzo is like these little pieces of pasta that almost look like rice, like long and kind of thin like rice. Yeah. We don't have any? No, no, minestrina, no? Yes, yes. Orvo. Yeah, yeah, this, this, this. Yeah, this is what people will think about when you say orzo here. It yeah. It's like this. You guys know. It's like the little, where's the camera? Uh, pastina. Yeah, but in Italy, this is pastina. A pasta. It's normal pasta, yeah. Right, but in Italy, they call something different orzo. The barley. 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 It's kind of like, um, it looks kind of like a it's little a grain. oat, but it's... Yeah, it's, it's a grain... Are you doing the soups? You put it in soup, yeah. Do we have that? No, I think I throw it away. What is happening here? Who? <laughs> uh, that? Let's stop that, but I'm gonna leave you in here. <laughs> but yeah. No, but I I I cancel yeah. your. It's funny, but. Who okay, canceling? Look, look, they're taking it off. Ah, you so take okay. it off. Okay. They can stay. Um, okay, so yes, barley in Italy is like a grain. But we, you know what barley is. But I remember your mom saying it wasn't barley, it was something else. Similar to barley. What else? What other things are, are like barley grains? Oats, things like that. I don't know. So this is the thing, though. Like, it took me a really... Faro. Just, did someone say that? Yeah, faro. 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 That's what you guys call orzo. Faro. So when I first went to Italy and Alessio's mom was like, oh, we need some orzo for the soup, I thought she was talking about this. Yeah, she was thinking... <laughs> That's it. And then you guys brought out the faro, and I was like, what? So, yeah, don't get confused. Orzo and orzo. But why in America they're doing orzo? I have no idea. <laughs> it's not orzo. It's pasta. That's just what we call it, I guess. I don't really know. If somebody knows the story. Oh, it's literally on the bag, guys. Okay. Our love of orzo. Named for its small barley-like size. This tiny pastina is a versatile shape that is perfect for pasta salads with feta, chickpeas, olives, spinach basil and lemon so they named this pasta orzo because it looks like the barley and faro no it looks like Just make uh, it uh. super confusing you know what else is like this gnocchi yeah because in sardinia they have a pasta called gnocchi Oh, yeah. And yeah. it's just the shape of the pasta looks like a little gnocchi, not the potato gnocchi that we think of gnocchi. Yeah. Sardinia has a gnocchi shaped Shape. pasta. So when I was ordering gnocchi in Sardinia once on our trip, I thought I was getting potato gnocchi, but instead it was a bowl of pasta. So another thing, yeah. Faro is spelt. See, all those things spelt. are so similar to me. Like, I don't know really the difference, but. There, it, it's like one of those things. 
Orzo is barley, though, not faro. See, we had this conversation with your mom. We couldn't decide if it was faro or exactly. barley. Uh, in my opinion, I don't know what means barley. That is my opinion. It's but faro kind of is faro. Uh, if, uh, barley. Orzo? And orzo is orzo because farro, <laughs> okay. it is a different thing. And orzo, it is like that thing with the line in the middle. Hold on. Let me, let me. That Google is the grain. This. The farro is totally another, another thing. But, okay. or maybe it's the same. And now I'm. Let's see. Now I'm. Well, it says farro is a bit chewier than barley. <laughs> so I, I, that's all that they say. But it's different. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Wait. Is this orzo? Here's barley. Okay. And then this is faro. See, they both yes. have a line down the they middle. They both have the line. Yeah. Maybe the kiko is more. I bigger. don't know, guys. But when you go in Italy, they're gonna call they all one it. of those things orzo, <laughs> and you're gonna think it's this, but it's not. Raffaella agree with me because she's Italian from Los Angeles, so okay. we have it's two different things. Oh, we. Because when we're cooking in Italy, we doing we using the farro for one thing, and we do the orzo for the soups. We put orzo in the soups because have the perfect texture. Ah, uh, yes, okay. That. I uh, mean, but I shock it too because one time I fall in the trap. I said, "Oh, orzo, it's orzo." I buy it because I'm the classic can buy when you without see a thinking. Name and you I see a name, it. you know, <laughs> orzo, orzo. What, is, what is this is pastina. <laughs> I was like. This is the hard though. Okay, so Lisa, ro risotto is not like grits because risotto is made from rice. Yeah, yeah. Risotto is totally another thing. This yeah, is that was rice. A question, yeah. So I was just saying no. Um, let's see. We have a good drink made with orzo too. Oh, oh so really? Coffee, right? Oh, the the cafe orzo. See, yeah. The Orzo Cafe when I was little was my favorite. My uh, grandmother was making me all the time. I was thinking it was the best uh, Cafe thing. Orzo. Cafe d'Orzo. Cafe huh, It's a uh, Kimbo, I think it is. I need to taste the, the risotto here if it's good or not. One minute. Hmm. Did you show them the olive oil that we've been trying yeah. recently? Yeah, yeah. The new I, one? I even um, <coughs> type here the name Olive Code. I could see. <laughs> okay. Cafe d'Orzo. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Now, Let's let me see. try again this. <laughs> now, Jesse, try. Why are you okay. laughing? Okay, some people are funny in the comments. Yeah, I wish. You need it. Fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's really good. So, now we are Mantechiamo. I can be your camera. Yeah. Again. So, in the end, in the end, we don't add nothing. So, like this. Mm -hmm. We pour it out. Like I said before, we don't put the we don't put the uh, butter. We just amantecare with the the parmigiano. Amantecare is like make it creamy, right? Yeah. So you put your parmigiano. Don't go cheap. Yeah, it's the best part. <laughs> and then that's it. And then it melts down, and it gets all creamy and delicious. Yep. It's just asparagus here, right? Aspar asparagus. Look, start already make up the cream. Without the, without the, uh, you can go back in the position here. Okay. Without the cheese, ragazzi, your risotto fa cagare. <laughs> Semplicemente in italiano. Semplicemente. If you don't do this thing. You it know. is a Brita filter. Okay, so when we went to New York, our Airbnb That's had it. this thing. We fell in love with it because it's huge. And then it's fast when and you, you don't have to pick up the little like pitcher because we always had a pitcher. 
you know? Yeah. And I hate like lifting that thing up when it's full and pouring it and in And then it takes forever for so charging. This we got is this really Brita. fast. It sits on the edge of the counter and we drink our water from it. Yeah, because the the water here is really bad. But we we drinking even aqua gazata, okay, usually oh, San Pellegrino, yeah. but they, uh, yeah, go, go ahead. Oh. Uh, we don't have, the, uh, we finished the San Pellegrino and I found this new one. Yes. Okay, yeah, it's really good. So actually sparkling water we have. Uh, We've decided, so usually we have pizza every Saturday and Sunday. Actually, I can show them my dough because well, yeah, I have a dough. Um, so Friday I'll make the pizza dough and then we'll split it in half and we'll have pizza on Saturday and Sunday homemade obviously, because Alessio's, you know, he's not just going to order Domino's. Um, so, but usually we would eat our pizza and have Coke or Sprite. And we kind of just got like into that habit and it wasn't very good because there's so much sugar in those drinks. So we switched it for sparkling water. Yeah. yeah I like to do one of the time, a little bit, a little bit of Coke or whatever, right? but start coming every yeah, here and there it's here and there that bad. Yeah. but i stopped drinking sodas like cold turkey in college and i literally only drink water and alessio got me back into sodas and i said no i'm not falling in this trap so this is our pizza dough for dinner tonight and i've been making it with integrale yeah integrale so whole wheat flour instead of all purpose that's why it's kind of brown instead of white and it's really good, guys. So later, at probably mid-afternoon, I'll take this out, let it warm up, and then we'll make the pizzas. We'll make the pizzas, yeah. It always seems to be better on the second day, too. So again, I make it on Fridays, and then by Sunday, this is so good. I think it like ages a little bit, and the, yeah. the farina just has a nice, deep flavor. Now you start doing the sourdough, too. I know, but I forgot to feed it last night. We forgot to I feed know. it. <laughs> Because just want to do you, the bread. I told you, remember to remind me. Yeah, you ask me. Try this risotto first. If it's good yeah. or not. The product, uh, yes, the product is here. Finish it. Look at that. Looks so good, guys. But it's super hot. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Oh, more. What missing? Nothing. Amazing. I don't try yet, but I already know it's amazing. Did we do anything different? It tastes better than ever. Probably the, I don't know. The pressure. Yeah. <laughs> the no, pressure probably because I perform. forgot there, so I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, uh, uh, risotto gli asparagi. You see how much they? Nothing. We. It's just a little bit. Oh, it's the cheese, you know. The pepe. Oh, missing the pepe. No, we're missing the pepe yeah. here. Thank you, Anna. Anna. <laughs> See, so you you see, it's missing something. The pepe, gracias. Anna. <laughs> but usually, I put on the plate in the when I serving the risotto in the plate, I put some pepe. Right, right a little bit more cheese too, because I mean, and cheese, on. yeah. I mean, I try to not put that much in the beginning. I put on top because I know my animal here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You know what I like the best. In the meantime, I, I oh, keep... we still have a lot of asparagus left over. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. We can do another shot here. Let's see. So drop the last question, guys, Get I finished to, uh, to do this, and we're going to go eat. So if you have any questions about it. Show us up close, please. Oh, Which one? The, the... the risotto? Yep. You have to tell me if it's too blurry. You see it's creamy? I don't know if you can see it. Kind of thick, you know, instead yeah. of watery. It, it is all together. The asparagi, I think it's everything together. Then if you just miss the live, you can go back and watch all live that hour almost for the risotto. The towel on the microwave. Oh, why we have the towel in the microwave? <laughs> I don't know. Alessio hates the microwave. So... No, I just want the light, guys. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I just
just like to say it's because you hate the microwave and don't want to see it. I hate the microwave, but <laughs> I, I, I hate the microwave on top there. Yeah, I, w I wish I could have a house with the microwave when they have the uh, oven. The yes. Okay, so we want one of those oven hoods is what it's called. Yeah, like Where in you, Italy. Yeah, we don't like the, the microwave right over the oven, but... But it's not, it right it's not the reason. It's not the reason I put a tile there. I saw some comments. Oh, they're putting the tile so the smell don't go up and attach to the to the tile. Oh, it absorbs the smell. Absorb the smell. Could be a good idea, idea, idea actually. actually <laughs> but <laughs> that was the purpose, ragazzi. It was just because the tile don't reflect the light. Mm -hmm. So you, if not over there, you see the light. And then I leave it there because don't bother me. I'll have a tile <laughs> there. Because we never use the microwave. So we never it use just the stays there because we never like open the microwave. So never. this is it. Except sometimes when I do make the sourdough bread, I'll use this to store the leftover bread. But we uh, want to buy something to cover. But to be honest, the plan it is uh, remodeling the kitchen a little bit. We'd love to. And, um, and the uh, plan it is take down that yeah especially if we in future we're gonna have kids we will try to a little bit expand a little bit the house if we stay here so put the kitchen a different way because we want a more sun uh, sun direct sun and so if we're doing all the kitchen i don't want to invest right now because we're gonna do it it is right. just extended a little right. bit for it so we're gonna build a little bit out and we put the kitchen there to the windows because i like to see what is happening and um so that's why we don't buy because of we are oh we extend it or no we, we're, we're looking we haven't it. decided and then the financial part aspect of it is crazy because you know right now everything's super expensive so yeah it's super expensive right so now. we live with the microwave with the towel on it so the microwave is <laughs> Va bene ragazzi io vado a mangiare il risotto se no sei raffredda ok quindi Grazie Ciao, buona mille. domenica. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, have a great, great Sunday. Uh, Ciao. Ciao What is my next life? We I don't know. Usually when I decide to cook uh, something. Alessio Always... likes to keep it, you know, spontaneous. Spontaneous. He's like, let's do it now. Let's do it now. <laughs> and um, let's eat it. Uh, depending what I cook, what I'm going to cook. Yeah, if you cook something really interesting or good. Yeah. So. No, I know that risotto, so if, let's see what they're going to come up. Maybe next time prosciutto e melone, so a piece of prosciutto e melone. <laughs> Va bene, ciao ragazzi, ciao! ciao.